Africa 54. I'm at uh, Gidoui Ewart in Washington. More than 70% of Africa's forest elephant species has been wiped out, mainly by poachers slaughtering them for their ivory. Park rangers are on the front lines defending them. BOA Pentagon correspondent Carla Barb has an exclusive look at the counter-poaching effort in central Gabon. This cadence brings hope to Lope National Park. Because these eco-guards are training for the fight against poaching. A fight that can turn deadly. Could somebody brief your medical plan? And U.S. forces are increasing their chances of survival. So generally the route we're going to take to do this patrol is leaving the Sadom, head to the main road, and then head south across this bridge. VOA is the first news media outlet to embed with a U.S. military team during a counter-poaching mission. Watch where you're stepping. We've seen like giant snakes down there. U.S. Army Captain Kevin Chapla leads the team. So right now our, our training patrol has, they're about 200 meters from the objective. The suspected camp of about four poachers. Uh, from here they're probably going to send out a recon element, see what they can see, come back, develop a plan, and then, uh, and then raid the, the suspected poaching camp. Come on, come on. Training operations like this one began in Tanzania in 2009, officials say. We not only help them preserve the wildlife, but at the same time we're disrupting criminal organizations and we're helping them develop a better future. And U.S. military efforts started in Gabon last year. Uh, two, three, Months five. of training has improved techniques to capture poachers and preserve evidence. I am taking his shoes off to try to make sure he does not have hidden documents or information that would help us successfully conduct our mission. These Eagle Guards are highly motivated individuals and teaching them is, it, not only is it fun, but it's easy. Unlike counter-poaching training from other nations, Chapla says this partnership with Gabon's National Park Agency is geared towards self-sustainment. Now we're producing uh, a core instructor group that can actually teach the force these skills and promulgate it throughout the entire ranks. Really, it's a proof of concept for them being able to instruct their own. So it's, it's pretty big. One thing not included in this mission, weapons training, something the Rangers say they desperately want. That's because, until this year, the government didn't allow eco-guards to carry weapons. You can't say to a poacher, oh, sorry, guys, uh, stay quiet and give me your gun. Three months ago, we were not allowed to carry weapons. Now we have weapons. And the poaching is decreasing. We just had the GPS. Officials hope these changes, along with additional international training and support, will accelerate Gabon's counter-poaching offensive. But time is running out for the elephants and it may not be enough. So I'm proud that we've made the progress that we've made, but it's still catastrophic, so we still have to do more. You may win some battles, but, but the war keeps going. And so the foot soldiers in that war keep marching on, determined to protect the endangered elephants for their country and for the world. Carla Bab, VOA News, Lope, Gabon.